okay, 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 okay. Alexa, turn off light too. What up guys, it's your boy Chris, aka Money Mitch, back with another episode of the Money Mitch Show. Did you miss me? Because I miss you. <laughs> As you know, it's Monday, which means what? Military Mondays. <laughs> As you can tell by today's title, I'm going to be going through my personal pros and cons of joining the U.S. Navy. Let's jump right into this. So let's start off with the few pros that I have. So one of the pros that I have is free healthcare. So it is not the world's best healthcare, but it is free healthcare and it's for you and your dependents as dependents as in like your wife, your kids, your husband, whoever you're married to, your significant other, and your offspring. And um, it's honestly nice, like I had to have physical therapy for my wrist before, I broke my wrist before. Um, it's been easy, I just go to medical and they put me in the right direction and I go to these places and I don't ever have to pay for anything. Along with free healthcare, if you're like me and you wear glasses and contacts, you can also get free LASIK surgery or what they call PK, PAK, I think that's what it's called, um, which is great. I personally haven't had it yet, but just because I'm scared of getting it. But if I ever wanted to, it's free and I can get it. Uh, for some of the females out there, you know, you can get one free plastic surgery in the Navy. So let's say if your breasts are too big and it's hurting your back, you can get a reduction. Or if you have really small ones and you say they affect your self-esteem and the way you work, you can get new ones. Simple as that. Um, also, free schooling. Free schooling. Let me say that one more time. Free schooling, okay? Um, <clears throat> there's some stipulations. Uh, so there's a limit for like a TA or tuition assistance. There's a limit to how many classes you can take per year. But, you know, it's still free classes. And you also have two different types. You have your TA when you're in the service, and then when you get out of the service, or I think you use them when you're in the service too, you can use your post 9-11, bill or your Montgomery GI Bill. Those are two different type of ways you can pay for schooling in the Navy. Um, one pays for books and tuition and the other one pays for tuition and housing, I believe. Don't quote me, I may be wrong with that, but I personally, I use TA. Uh, I take four classes a semester and so I route my TA for like two classes and then I use um, financial aid for the other two classes. So, that's kind of how I get around it. But if you want to just take four classes a year, this is perfect. TA is perfect for you. And TA stands for tuition assistance. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's what that stands for. One of the other pros is that you get to travel a lot. I know people make jokes like, all you go out to see, all you do is go out to the sea and see water, but like, I've traveled a lot. I've been to Australia, I've been to Japan, I've been to South Korea. I've been to Singapore. I've been to all these amazing countries that I would never think I would ever be in. Like being stationed in Japan, never in a million years would I have thought that I would spend five years of my life living in Japan. That is one of the coolest things ever. There's bases everywhere almost. You can go be stationed in Italy, Spain. There's even a U ability for, there's even a job for the U.S. Embassy in Australia. You could be stationed in Australia. That is crazy. Another pro is, at least what I think is a pro, is that you have like a guaranteed check, you know. You, get, you know that on the 1st and the 15th, you gonna get some money in your account. So that's one of the best things ever. The fact of having financial security almost, like you know no matter what, most of the time that on the 1st and the 15th, there's gonna be a paycheck in your bank account. And if you got Navy Fair, you get paid two days earlier than everybody else. So that's two days earlier getting your paycheck. Look, that's what it's all about. It's that money, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> One of the last pros I think I have is that you get to meet people from all like walks of life. Like I am from Georgia. I am from a small city in Georgia. And so when I joined the Navy, I met people from, I met somebody from Alaska and I was like, dang, there really is people that live up in Alaska. You meet people from Alaska, you meet people from different countries, you meet people from all walks of life. Like I don't want to sound ignorant racist, but like I didn't know a Filipino was a race. 
I did not know until like I joined the Navy and I met so many Filipinos and they're so dope, it's so nice, it's so creative and so helpful. Um, the friends you make in the Navy are like your brother and sister. Like, that, like I'm not gonna sit here and BS you talking about we're all brothers and sisters in the armed forces. Nah, uh, -uh. some people you will hate to the death of you. But there's some people that you make that you get this bond with that you just absolutely positively love them. And so you become really close friends with these people in such a short amount of time. It is the best thing ever, at least in my opinion. Because I met some of my best friends in life through the Navy. Like these are people that I would ride or die for. No questions asked, not if you buck type of thing. Like I would go to bat for them. All right, so now let's talk about the cons of the Navy. Um, one of the cons that I do not necessarily like the most is being out to sea and the amount of time you spend out to sea. Being on sea duty at my last command, which was a four deploy command, which means we had like 24 hour notice before sometimes we had to be on a boat and we'd be out there for months on end. So definitely being out to sea is difficult for some people, especially people with families. Like I'm a single person, I don't have a wife or kids. And so I don't have that disconnect from people as someone who maybe have a wife or a husband and kids who are all gone from their families for like months at a time. The con is that when you're on the boat, you're working nonstop. You work 12 hour shifts on and off, seven days a week. There's no weekends, there's no I'm taking the day off, there's nothing. You're out there stroking each and every day, working your behind off, which is very demanding to say the least, especially in the aviation department because you are constantly keeping aircraft up and keeping them ready to go pit to warheads on foreheads, you know what I'm saying? So another thing, okay, so I know I said pay was on the pros list because it's a guaranteed check on the person 15, but it's also on my cons list because we out to sea work our butts off day in and day out for 12 hours, sometimes 14 hours straight. Even like back on shore when we're like the boats in port, you still work a lot of time. And the pay that they give you, I'm not gonna lie. When you get to be my rank, which is like E5, it is somewhat good. But like as an airman, oh, you make a scrump change. I'm pretty sure somebody that working at McDonald's make more than you. So it is definitely on the pro cons list because as much as people say like, oh, the military people, they make money. They get me. We do not have no money. We are broke. Uncle Sam is scamming us. We are giving him our life and he's giving us crumbs. Okay. So another con is, and this is one that kind of irritates me is the fact that you never know when you're coming home until your dog at the pier because there's been t there's been plenty of times it's like okay we're gonna go out between March and June and June come around and we're all ready excited to go back home and they're just like something come up came up China's doing some stuff out to sea we gotta go back out or we gotta stay out and you stay out for another two to three months and then you just never know when you're gonna go home it's like another con the food on the boat like, the food on the boat is very, dis not, not disgusting, but it's not the best. It's not like going to the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. It's definitely not that, not like that. Definitely not like going to McDonald's either. It is more like, I don't know. It's just not that great. But the, the boat has like a schedule as far as food. So like on Mondays, it may be like, I don't know, like sandwiches. And then like Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. And then Wednesday is Burger Wednesday. And Thursday, maybe Italian Thursdays and Friday. It's like something else. And then Saturday is pizza and wing Saturday. And then Sunday is like brunch. And it's the same things over and over and over and over and over again. Literally, when I was on deployment for like four to five months straight, it was the same meal every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday, every Saturday, and every Sunday. It was exhausting. And you would just go down there and see the same things. You'd be like, I don't want this. I'm gonna go upstairs and have a protein shake and call it a day. Like it is, it is definitely different. Y'all, and then my last con, the one that irritates me the most. I have never, ever had to deal with this before the Navy, but busy work. Oh, let me tell you something. They hate letting you try to go home early. Like what? They would rather keep you there the whole entire shift than to let you go home on time or early because like 
I, I like I had jobs before the Navy like I had like a couple jobs and so like if I was done with whatever I had to do I could leave in the Navy no it don't matter if you come to work at 8 and you done with all your stuff by 12 you cannot leave to like 4 they're not gonna let you out that door until 4 and so they give you like little small tasks to keep you busy throughout the day to help you reach the end of that time when the reality is you finish all your work at 12 like before lunch, oh, don't even get, get me started about lunch breaks on sea duty. You do not get time to go sit down and eat. I don't care at what sea command you at, as long as you are on sea duty, you do not sit down to eat. I, I have adapted to only eating one meal a day, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Because, yeah, you just learn how to eat once. But yeah, sorry, I sorry I got off topic, but yeah, busy work. I hate it, it's stupid, it's useless. If I'm doing my stuff, let me go home. That's pretty much it about that. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, repost, retweet, put on Instagram, follow me on my other social media, and it'll be down in the description box below. And help me reach my goal of 150 subscribers by March, I think I said. And so make sure you guys subscribe, 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 and 